think that's what um, the lightness in the Charlie Chaplin aspect of Lester Ballard. I think exactly what James is saying is in the writing about this guy has a body he can't, and then once he can't get up the ladder. But, well, one of the main things I wanted to do was find ways that I could relate to to this this um, this individual, and I um, I tried to look at the compassion and, and the the um, actually I had, I had my girlfriend and I really went through the uh, the script together, so I wanted to get her take on a lot of stuff in terms of what what parts of myself that I, I could I could see in this. So it um it has more. It has heart to it. It's 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 not just some maniac that's running around doing these deeds. He's he's a man truly isolated from society. And I think that anybody put in that circumstance, if they if they find those different elements of what it would be like to be that isolated. Basically, Scott went and isolated himself for three months. He stayed over night in caves, real caves, without me asking, he just did it on his own. He, uh, and then when he finally came to set, he showed up looking like he did. <laughs> and um, yeah. didn't really talk to anybody and stayed to himself. And uh, was like that for the entire shoot. I think we have, we have to go, <clears throat> Yeah. Um, I, I'm sure there are there are parallels that could be made between Lester and, and, and um, some of the artistic characters or the artistic uh, process in general. Um, <clears throat> it seems like the way that I've, in, in some of the other movies I've done, I did a movie about um, the actor Salminio, I, I just shot a movie about the writer um, Charles Bukowski, I did a movie about the poet Hart Crane. And I think the way that those are structured, it's, it's you know, you focus on an individual and um, he or she has a, you know, particular take on the world um, and kind of an experience of the world. And a lot of the times, um, you know, there's maybe misunderstanding or, you know, um, a lack of acceptance of this person's work um, that, isolates them at least um, you know creatively or you know socially and um, and so I guess that's you know that's something that that flows into the artistic world as well as well and here is you know Lester who um, like I said I think he he wants to socialize he, he would like to be a part of society he's just incapable and um, and so he has to resort to other other methods to have relationships. <laughs> so um, yeah, we don't. Um, I mean, we're working on uh, distribution in Italy right now. We don't have it quite yet. Um, the character um, or the book was originally based on, um, or at least loosely based on, a real killer named Ed Dean who in fact was um, also the inspiration for um, uh, Norman Bates in Psycho and also the character in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And um, from what I've read about Ed Gein, one of the, one of the things is after he was caught, all the, um, all the neighbors, all the people in his town kind of made a spectacle of the case. And, um, and so, in a way, they, um, I don't know what you want to call it, they, they, they kind of became peeping toms or just as fascinated, they, be, they became fascinated with this, with this character. And so, I guess, in that sense, um, you know, not, not, as, not to say that they're as culpable as he is or at fault, but that, there's something about the people that surround Lester that um, maybe are a little crazy, or um, you know that there's a maybe, or maybe even one of the points is that um, there is sort of an underlying violence to to everyone. It's just a little more um, organized, uh, or um, 
you know, ruled by <clears throat> the dictates of the law, but it's, there's still kind of a violence um, in the people around Lester. It's just that he's the most um, kind of obvious case.